A 21-year-old man had an erection for three months. Doctors couldn't figure out why, and I'm sure you won't either. Welcome back to Your Health Explained. I'm Dr. Adam Goodkoff, and today we're getting into the erection lasting three months. You've probably seen these commercials where they say, To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. That's for a multitude of reasons, and we're going to dive into that right now. Now first, before we start, I want to test you and see if you know the name for what a long-lasting erection is. So go ahead and put it in the comments. It's not a foul word. It's purely a medical word. It's okay to put in the comments. So I'll give you a second in three. We're coming back in two. All right. The answer to that, and go give it a thumbs up if you got it right, is a priapism. Now, if you got that right, give yourself that thumbs up. But we're going to move on. This 21-year-old gentleman presented to doctors in Iran after having an erection or a semi-full erection for over three months. We're not talking three hours, three days, three weeks, three months of an erection. And now you can imagine if blood gets in but can't go back out, there's no fresh blood circulating. And since you can't pop the penis and it's not going to explode, you can only fill so much blood in this space. In these patients, we run the risk of an ischemic injury and long-term damage to the penis itself. Doctors did what they knew how to do, which was try to drain with needles the blood out of the penis. But unfortunately, it didn't work. The man continued to have a semi-full erection that, despite drainage, would not go down. On further history, the doctors figured out what happened, causing this erection to last for three months. The gentleman finally shared that he had gotten a tattoo on his penis. It's hypothesized that this tattoo needle went so deep that it ruptured the inner chambers that hold the blood within the penis. These areas are called the corpus cavernosum, and they fill with blood, but they also should release with blood. However, if they were punctured with a tattoo needle accidentally, there could be an issue with the drainage system resulting in this semi-permanent erection. Now here's the crazy part of this case, and before I tell you, if you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for other interesting medical stories just like this. But anyway, this is what happened with this patient. Despite every effort and even some non-indicated procedures as they describe in the case study, they could not get this erection to go down. They knew why it was there, they tried everything they could, but ultimately could not resolve this patient's symptoms. In fact, he decided to live with this condition and go on his way. That's right, a permanent erection for this 21-year-old patient. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.